Test Club made its move onto the Oculus Quest this week. Here's our review straight from the VR Gamescast. Chess Club. Chess in VR, you know? Here's the thing, like, it's 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 a really good take on chess in VR. There's there's two two themes to it. You can kind of see them on the board now. One of them is this really cool Stonehenge thing where you do get the wizard's chess experience, yes, that these pieces are animated and when you tell a pawn to walk forward on the board, they'll actually, you know, walk forward and march forward. And then when they take a piece, they each have like cool little individual battle animations. And then you also get a classic experience sitting in sitting in what looks like a mansion in a foyer with a, a piano playing somewhere. And you're like, <laughs> oh, okay, so this is what people that play chess do all the time. I'm starting to write my review and what I put in the headline is it's pretty much all you could ask for from chess in VR. And that is... It has a bunch of different AI difficulty modes, and I can just about beat the normal mode. I get absolutely trounced by the Grandmaster difficulty. I think I heard you from the other room shout, yes, I beat the AI. (laughs) Yeah, I did. I was not expecting to beat the AI, because I I wouldn't call myself the best at chess. I know how it works, but I wouldn't say I'm great at it. But I, I beat the AI. I was very happy about that. You can also meet up with friends. And then there's actually a, one of the cool features is uh, you can, there's like a recommended player section on one side of the map. So if you're looking for someone that you think is kind of on your skill level, I think that's really, really cool, right? That's a very good way to find mm-hmm. other people. It's kind of a shame this didn't release a year ago at the start of the pandemic because it's such a cool way to play chess. And it it, it reminds me of Demio again in in some ways of just, it does a yeah, very, sure. very good job of bringing a fun, engaging tabletop experience to VR, but then the social element being what actually really, really enhances it. Um, and that's, yeah, that's something, that's that's basically it on Chess Club at the end of the day. I think it's got really great polish. I think they've done two really, really good themes. I would definitely, I think, were we just saying in the comments that there's going to be more? Because I would love to see more. That's going to be one of my negatives, as it were, that there's only two types I, w- I would even take more environments just than the Stonehenge thing, but keep the animations of these characters. I would just love more places to be in it. And, I, you know, it would be cool to get some, like, cross-play in there or something as well. I don't know if that's... This is all still to work out, but I don't think it's in there, and that would be cool if they released a flat-screen version just so you could play with pretty much whoever you wanted to play with. So, yeah, Chess Club. Cool. I love Out of five? Chess. Probably going to be a four, because... It's chess. It's a very good take on chess. Could use a couple more uh, environments and ideas and everything like that. But it's very, very decent, very, very, very solid. That was our review of Chess Club, now available on the Oculus Quest. Check out our full review over at uploadvr.com and tune in every Thursday for the VR Gamescast.